So you're thinking about making beats for the first time ever, but you're not sure what genre you want to produce, what studio equipment you need, and you may not even have a plan to keep you motivated, so you don't quit. But you know this is something you want to do because you hear beats in your head all the time. Look, I've been there before. I used to get put out of class for making beats on my desk. I used to get put out of class all the time, man. The best advice I can share with you is jump straight in. Like when you go swimming and the water is cold, don't stick your toes in the water trying to see how cold it is. That makes it worse. Go ahead and jump straight in. The only difference is when you jump into the music production world this time, you won't be alone. You'll be prepared. Because on this episode, in every episode I make, I share everything you need to know to get started in making beats and how to stay motivated as a music producer. Check it out. Let's go. Welcome to another episode of Platinum Lyrics and Beats. I'm your host, Trey Boy. I teach aspiring music producers how to create and sell dope beats online without the confusion and frustration of wondering where to start. On Platinum Lyrics and Beats, we look to assist you in getting started in your music production career and help you make some life-changing music and money. Okay, things you need to know before you start producing beats, before you even bought any equipment, but you just know this is something you want to do. I'm going to give you the first thing we need to look into first. All right. Number one, find the right genre. All right. Believe it or not, the right genre fits your style, your swag, your heart, your passion. Look, this is the key to getting started in making beats and becoming a great music producer. Why is this? Because your music is going to come from your soul. All right. It's not going to come from a fake place. It's going to come from a real, authentic place right trying to produce music that doesn't resonate with you is like trying to wear clothes that's not your style or size all right let me just be straightforward the genre of music you probably should start off with or start making beats to is music you grew up on all right music you listen to and love to this day you're already ahead of the curve when you start with what you know and what you love all right you have a sense for the instruments how it should be played the structure of the song how the intro and verse and chorus should be set up it's going to make producing that much easier because the foundation is already made i grew up on hip-hop r&b and gospel music all right producing comes simple to me it comes easy you know to me because that's i'm i'm, I'm operating in the genres that are already in my soul it's already embedded in me the soul of that type of music it's already embedded in me, so it comes easy to me. It'll be the same for you. Whatever music you grew up with, whatever music you like to, you know, vibe with, start off producing that type of music, and things will be a little bit easier for you, all right? But like I said, I grew up on hip-hop and R&B music, and as the years pass, I've learned how to mix them all together to develop my own unique sound. But I really started with hip-hop. I didn't try to start producing all of them, you know, gospel, R&B, and hip-hop. You know, I started off with hip-hop. My very, very first beat was a hip-hop beat. Find that one genre, stick with that, and add the other genres as you go. And you will gain tools and skills later on, all right? Okay, number two, invest in studio equipment. Anything you're trying to build, anything you're trying to start from scratch, you're going to need some tools, all right? There are some essential tools you need when you start producing music, all right? Like a DAR, Digital Audio Workstation. This is the software you use when you're converting your music into a digital format so you can see it on your computer screen, all right? That's what the Digital Audio uh, Workstation does. It does a lot more, but basically that's what it's going to allow you to do. See everything on your computer screen. The next thing you would need is a MIDI device. That's the controller you use to trigger the sounds. And then the last thing you would need is a pair of studio headphones. I would say get an audio interface, but that's optional. You can connect your MIDI device directly to your laptop, all right? An audio interface converts microphone and instrument signals into a format your computer and software recognizes, all right? That's basically what it does. The interface also routes audio from your computer out to your headphones 
and your studio monitors. All right. But like I said before, you can bypass that when you're just getting started. It's up to you. The last thing you would need, like I mentioned before, is a set of studio headphones. So here's the layout. I'm going to lay it all out for you. Your studio headphones and MIDI device will be connected to your laptop. The MIDI device will communicate with your DAW and your sounds will come out of your computer through your headphones. It's simple, right? What I would suggest is for you to research different DAWs, headphones, and MIDI devices you vibe with. But to make things easier for you, which is my job, I place a link to all the studio equipment you will need and the studio equipment that I've been using for years in the descriptions below. I also share a link to the Music Producer Studio Bundle on a budget. It'll be available in the description. The bundle has everything we just talked about and more. You can check it out in the, in the descriptions as well. All right, number three. Don't skip over this. Have an end goal in mind because you don't want to quit. If you haven't noticed, nobody has accomplished anything great without a why. All right, you got to have a why. We need a purpose to keep us going, especially when things get difficult. And believe me, they will. Anything that you're building that's worth something, you're going to run into some difficulties, all right? If you're serious about becoming a music producer, you may want to ask yourself a couple of questions. Why do I want to start making beats? Is this just to make money? Do I want to change people's lives with my music? Do I want to travel the world and make beats with my favorite artists? Or is this just a hobby? There's no right or wrong answer. But your why, your reasoning behind becoming a music producer will largely be connected to your success as one. Point blank. All right? Your why, your reasoning behind becoming a music producer will largely be connected to your success as one. All right, so I'll leave you with this. Purpose is far more greater than pain. So my advice would be to anyone looking to take music production seriously. Choose to produce the music you grew up listening to. The music that fits you like a glove. The music that's in your soul. The music that you really want to create. Invest in the right studio equipment. The right startup studio equipment. Don't go, don't go broke behind you know, buying a bunch of equipment just because you have the money. You want to be smart about this. Start small and add as you go. And lastly, know your why. Be real with yourself and ask, why do I really want to start making beats? Do this and I'm sure you will succeed. Look, if you need a kickstart in the right direction and you want to get started today, I have a gift for you. Watch the producer's blueprint. A free video I created for aspiring music producers just like you. The Producer's Blueprint. It walks you through each step. I'll show you the equipment you need to get started. I'll show you how to get started on a small budget, right? You don't have a lot of money to spend. I'll also show you how to create dope beats from scratch and how to set your beat store up online so you can get paid from the beats you create. Go to Aspire Producers Lab, RFU on IG, Check me out, Trey Boy Music. You know what it is. DM me the word produce and I'll send you the blueprint. But check it out. I look forward to hearing your first beat. Yeah, send me that, man. Tag me or email me, man. Trey Boy Music. <laughs> Trey Boy at TreyBoyMusic.com, man. Email me your first beat. I want to hear what you come up with. Tag me on IG. It don't matter, man. You know how to get in contact with me. Thanks for listening and supporting the channel. Subscribe so you can watch more helpful videos like this every week I drop. To all the dope music producers out there, let's keep producing this life-changing music. To all the aspiring music producers, let's go out there and put in that work. Join us in changing the world one beat at a time. I pray this episode will inspire you to get started in your music production career and help you make some life-changing music and money. Have an amazing day. Let's get that work. See you next week. It's Trey Boy. I'm out. Peace.